Welcome to Spirit Talks, because your spirit talks to you. Welcome to Spirit Talks. I'm Susie Beiler. And I'm Maximilian Haver. Today's Spirit Talk topic is self-love. Thanks for joining us, and enjoy. Max, would you say that you love yourself? Yes. How do you show that to yourself? How do I show that to myself? Hmm. I don't think it's something, like, action. Like, it's not... I mean, it's it's something you feel for yourself. Okay. And you do things because of that, but that that act that you're doing isn't inherently what you're feeling for yourself. So self-care, self-nurturing, you know, you can do um, lots of different things. You can do self-massage, you can take time for breathing, you can you can take Epsom baths, Epsom salt baths, um, you can go get a massage, you can go to chiropractor, acupuncture, lots of different things that are self-care. Um, which is which is nice, especially if you're present and engaged with like that feminine quality where you're you're really receiving and you're really nurturing and honoring your yourself. Mm-hmm. But the the main part of it is that internal part where you're you're loving yourself not in a way with the ego or the pride, but you're you're loving yourself in a way that honors the gift that that you are in life do you think most people love themselves i think fundamentally everyone is love that's just the nature of the soul but the ego tends to get into judgment a lot and especially with reflecting on decisions someone makes and how they perceive things they they may fall into a place of judgment where they're not engaging with that self-love. Do you think it's different for men versus women? I think it's it's easier for women to engage with self-love because it is a feminine, self-nurturing, receiving quality. But all fundamentally, you're, you're a soul experiencing a body. So... Male or female, you have both masculine and feminine. And so, yeah, there is some tendency for it to be a little more challenging for, for males, at you know, in certain cultures and in certain situations. But fundamentally, everyone can love themselves. See, now, as a woman, I would have said, I think it's harder for women to love themselves because of the nature of women. Women often give first, especially mothers, before taking care of their own needs. And it's not something that we're taught. Most children aren't taught how to love and appreciate themselves. And so I see more women struggling with this than men. So it's interesting that you have that perspective and I have this perspective. (laughs) I mean, it's it's because of a uh, masculine culture that's not divine masculine. It's it's very ego masculine. Yeah. The the culture, and so it tends to lead away from that. And I don't I don't know if you could really judge it being like more difficult, but maybe I mean maybe there's different things women as a general tendency are working through with that everyone's working through something right well let's talk a little bit about mothers because from my years in coaching and and counseling I've seen women really really struggle with giving to themselves first before their families most mothers have Kids demanding their attention 24-7. Sometimes they describe their husband as another child that they're taking care of. So how can women, especially mothers, put themselves first? How can they fill themselves up before giving to their families? Well, there's, you know, you make time for yourself. 
And that's, that's the first part, is that you take time to be present with yourself. And you understand that caring for yourself allows you to, to give more to others. Right. And so fundamentally, even if your engagement is to give to others, this is still very important. This is something that we all need to understand, this concept yeah. of filling up our own cup first before we can give because we can't give when we're drained right. and it's not a selfish thing to schedule time in your calendar mm -hmm. to take care of yourself mm -hmm. so let's maybe give our listeners some ideas you mentioned some things early on in the conversation um, let's give them some ideas of just simple things that they can do throughout the day to show themselves love well, let's let's start even further back than that. Is what is self love? Okay, perfect. Right. <laughs> so self love is your your nurturing, your 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 feeling, your honoring. It's all of these things, but it's it's without condition of what you're experiencing. You just fundamentally love yourself, much like you would. In, in many re respects, it would be how you have a love for your creator or, or that source of creation because it is actually quite a similar energy, the energy of the soul. When I first started learning how to love myself, one of the things I had to work through was worthiness. Mm -hmm. I'm worthy of receiving love, not just from others, but from myself. And I think that's a lot... I think a lot of people struggle with that piece of it. Hmm. So first, you have to know that you're worthy. And for me, that was a very spiritual experience, understanding that I chose to come into this reality. I chose to come into a body on this planet. And there were billions of other souls that wanted to come to this planet. I got to come here. So just by me getting here, I'm worthy. So that's where it started for me. And then I started to implement things into my everyday routine to show myself love. I started really paying attention to the food I was putting in my body, how I was using my energy, how I was giving, how I was receiving, uh, the people with whom I spent my time, how I was honoring myself that way. And I just, I started to look at all these different little areas of my life and noticing, is this honoring me? Is this something that I desire to do? Is this something that feeds me or drains me? And if it drained me, I stopped doing it. And if it fed me, I did more of it. And so in that way, I really showed myself, I am worthy of having a beautiful life. I am worthy of showing myself love. And it's not a selfish thing. It's actually something we have to do if we want to shine our lights brightly, if we want to be givers. And, and always being clear that the, the distinction with, with uh, pride and, and feeding the ego being very different than self-love. Yeah, it's never about feeding the ego. It's always about what truly nourishes my soul. Mm -hmm what truly nourishes my heart and allowing my heart to lead me. Hmm. Actually, that's one of the biggest things I've done to show myself love is I allow my life to be led from my heart and from my soul's desires. Mm -hmm. And since I've been doing that, my life has just kept getting better and better. Do you have any other ideas for our listeners about how they can love themselves? Well... First is to start with simply taking time to be with yourself. Mm. That That is actually when a lot of stuff comes up for people is when they're alone, their mind starts wandering and racing and going through all of these things that they criticize themselves with or, yeah. or narratives they play out in their head or all these things. And it's it's being willing to go through all that and breathe through it and calm, be calm and peaceful and just however however it would it would be that 
it really feels that you're you're being cared for. Like if you could imagine another person caring for you, yeah. like someone you know wrapping you up in a blanket and <laughs> bringing you a nice home suit, like that sort of nurturing. Yeah, visualize that for you to yourself. Yeah, I've often in coaching clients said, imagine you're holding a little baby or a cat, you know, mm-hmm. a kitten. And how would you treat that little baby or that kitten? What kind of energy would you have towards it? What kind of touch would you use with it? And just going through this list of things and and then saying to them, okay, now do that for you. Touch yourself gently. Speak gently to yourself. Look into your eyes in the mirror with love and gratitude like you would a little baby. And it's really helped a lot of people just to do those simple things, to approach themselves in that way. To treat others as kindly as you treat yourself and to treat yourself as kindly as you treat others. So depending which way is more difficult for you, some people it's easier to be kind to themselves, but then they find judgments on others. and then So it can be vice versa depending Mm -hmm. on the person's path and situations. Yeah. Well, beautiful. This has been a very loving, beautiful conversation. Mm -hmm. Thank you for all that you added to the conversation. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you in the next episode. May you love yourselves endearingly.